So again, under the crop protection management, storage of grains is also very important. So there is a loss to the farmer while storage. How? So in the storage of lo storage losses, there are two different types of biotic and abiotic losses. What are the biotic factors which cause loss of grains? Insect, rodents, fungi, mites, bacteria. If the grain bags are stored in a room, ants, the ants may carry the grains one by one, one by one, one by one. Rodents, the rats, they may cut and open one rice bag. They may spoil the rice. They may eat the rice. At the same time, they may pass urine. They may litter the rice. Once the bag is spoiled by the litter, the rice is losing its quality. It is not ready to sell. Nobody will buy. So the farmer has to throw all the rice aside. It lost its value. So in such a way, rodents, they contribute for the damage or reduction in the quantity of the produce. Fungi, certain kind of items, they easily get spoiled by fungus, mostly by vegetables or some other items. Uh, quickly perishable items any quickly perishable items are there they easily get affected by fungus if any of the produce is having high water content the fungus will affect mites and bacteria so these are the biotic factors which cause storage loss and abiotic moisture and temperature so if there is any moisture there if there is any some water mixed up with the grains there are more chances for the bacteria and fungi to grow up temperature is the other factor so these are the different factors which are to be managed or controlled otherwise there will be storage loss. So the grains are to be stored properly. They can follow certain methods like sun drying. Drying in the sun will remove the any additional unwanted moisture or fungus or bacteria can be killed by sun drying and fumigation is a method. Fumigation passing some smoke or gas that consists of chemicals so which will prevent the infection of fungus or bacteria other that is the fumigation so sun drying and fumigation such kind of techniques can be employed to prevent the storage loss so by that we can have good production good amount of food production so our next topic is animal husbandry this is also a part of the improvement in food resources so food resources they include the plant food resources as well as animal foods Animal foods include dairy products that is the milk, eggs and uh, fish as well as poultry, chicken and uh, other meats. So all these are the animal foods. So they come under the animal husbandry. What is this animal husbandry? Animal husbandry is the scientific way of keeping this animal livestock management of scientific management of animal livestock is called as animal husbandry. So in this Everything comes like uh, related to animals, their feeding, breeding, taking care from diseases. So everything that comes under animal husbandry, feeding the animal, breeding of the animal, see that it gives good variety of uh, young ones, new varieties. At the same time, they give good amount of milk. At the same time, they are protected from diseases. They are disease free. So by that, the food production is good as well, the, as, well as the health of the animal is also good. So that all comes under the animal husbandry it includes the care of various animals like cattle farming poultry and fish culture prawn culture beekeeping so all these come under this animal husbandry first let us see the cattle farming so first see the cattle farming basically the cattle it includes cows and buffaloes in india we use cow and buffalo for milk production this cattle are used for two major purposes. One is for milk production. The other one is drought work, physical work, labor. The male animals are used to draw the till, that is for plowing, to draw the carts, bullock carts. So that is to, for transport purpose, to carry the goods and other agricultural activities. These bullocks are used, the male animals are used. The female animals like cow and buffalo, they are used for milk production so the milk production the dairy industry is the major part here under the food production here the indian varieties or desi varieties of cows and buffaloes they are good in resisting the local diseases they are well adapted to the local climatic conditions but their milk production is less 
compared to foreign varieties. So the agricultural scientists, what they are doing is they are cross breeding the foreign variety with the local variety. Now there are certain hybrid cows and buffaloes which have good resistance to the climatic conditions, to the diseases as well as they have good milk production. See here Jersey and Brown Swiss these are the foreign varieties which have very good amount of milk production whereas the Sindhi and Sahiwal are the local varieties they have good resistance to the diseases. If these foreign varieties and these local breeds they are crossbred the crossbred hybrids they have good qualities of both like giving more milk at the same time having resistance to the diseases. So in such a way the choice the selection of the varieties the hybridization helps to get good variety of animal which is having good physical strength as well as which provides good production of milk. So now these animals are to be taken care under this animal husbandry primarily cleanliness of the animal because the cattle they live in outside a lot of dust worms parasites all infect these animals. So cleaning of the animal is very very important. The animals are to be kept in sheds and these animals are to be regularly cleaned. The cleaning involves cleaning of animal as well as cleaning of the shed because the animal body consists of lot of dirt and loose hair and all these things to be brushed up regularly. So brushing of the animal body and cleaning of the animal body should be done regularly and the shed in which the animal is kept it should be free from dirt and it should be regularly clean and the floor of the shed should be slanting if this is the shed the floor should be slanting not straight so by that no water is stagnated there any water or dust is flown and it helps to keep the floor dry and buffaloes and cows or whatsoever animals are kept in the shed they are to be protected by the mosquito nets because mosquito bites will affect the production of milk. So the mosquito bites will affect the sleep of the animals. Animals cannot properly sleep if mosquitoes are biting. If they do not sleep properly they do not give good amount of milk. So the production of milk starts in cow or buffalo during the lactation period. That means it should deliver a baby. So once it delivers a baby it will be having a good uh, gestation period lactate sorry lactation period. So in the lactation period it gives milk. Different animals have different lactation periods. So the farmers have, have to select the breed which has got good lactation period. Means for how many days it is giving milk after giving birth to the young one. So as we discussed earlier we can select such cross breeds or hybrids which will be having good lactation period. So now cleaning of the animal and cleaning of the shed. So the cleanliness it keeps the animal healthy and prevents the diseases and helps to give good amount of milk. Now the next part is food. What kind of food is to be given to the animal? So we are giving food to the cow or buffalo for milk. That doesn't mean that we give only food to get only milk. It is an animal. It is a living thing. It should have some energy to maintain itself. So animal food requirement is different based upon the purpose. So the food first thing is maintenance food. The animal should be given some maintenance food. That means the food that helps the animal to maintain itself, to keep its body alive, to have proper immunity, strength to stand. So it needs some maintenance food. Then milk producing food. See that the food contain good amount of uh, different variety of uh, cereal stuff and other fodder which helps to produce good amount of milk that is milk producing food and see that good amount of roughages are added and concentrates the concentrates they contain less fiber and more amount of nutrients so all these help the animal to have to stay healthy and to give good amount of milk for a good period of time so that is such kind of food has to be given so the animal is good it is kept clean it is given with proper food and water it is giving proper milk and there are certain chances for infections of bacteria virus fungus and other kind of diseases and other parasites certain worms also infect the cows and buffaloes so liver fluke affect the liver it will damage the liver certain worms infect the animals and they will make them weak sometimes they may lead to death of the animal 
it will affect the production of the milk also so these animals are to be properly taken care they should be given proper vaccinations if there is any disease or illness if the animal is not in proper posture then the animal has to be taken to the veterinary doctor for checkups and proper treatment has to be given to restore the milk production again so this is all about the animal husbandry if this care is taken if this is taken there are chances to get a good amount of milk production from the cattle if you like this video please give a thumbs up please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on cbse syllabus